Alrighty, welcome to Bahel, the place where you learn to cook. I root you in food that is cheap, healthy, and easy to prepare. You know, because math sometimes make it a little bit lazy. A survey given to Americans reveal that many people don't cook because they don't know what to buy. Today, we're going to talk about our grocery list. The most important part. Here's what to buy. Fruit vegetables. <laughs> oh, you know, we'll get back to our roots. Ham. Then we're going to ham. Our carrot. And then we have another carrot. It's, it's, it's one more carrot. Uh, oh, a sweet potato. A uh, ruta biga, ruta biga, ruta bigo. <laughs> or on the on. Ruta, ruta biga. What's this? This is something else. Beat. <laughs> it's a beat. Okay, this is a beat. All right, this is a ruta biga. Let's give it some horns. Give it a little, little house, all right? The rutabaga is gonna have a house, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna have this guy. Nope, nope. All right, never mind. And rutabagas may help you lose weight because it makes you feel full for longer. Not like Chinese food, fast food, uh, food. A potato. Another potato. You like a potato. Everybody like a potato. Potatoes helped the Irish to survive. They ate 14 pounds of potatoes a day. Yeah, mostly, I think what's the most important part here is uh, the beat. That was a beat by any measure. Ah, uh, and then we got, we got, ooh, the tomato. Nice and juicy. Hello, my name is Alfred. Ah, beets. Beets are delicious. They are actually a superfood or something. But they also, they make you uh, spell pig backwards in funny colors. Yeah. Potatoes are cheap. They beat. <laughs> beat. Uh, everything, um, as far as prices go. Because they, I believe it's like 23 cents for this or something. And, well, that's like four of them is less than a buck. Yeah! Carrots are cheap too. And they're fun to hit things with. They're really good as like a weapon or even like a stabby thing. Sweet potatoes. It's a parsnip. I forgot it's a parsnip. Yeah. So that's beautiful. And and you can like stand it up there. And so it looks like a like a thing. It looks like a shorter carrot. Just like a, a, a white carrot. It's like a lame white carrot. Both parsnips and onions um, can like add flavor to dishes. You know, I, I was talking about the rutabaga here. Glucosinolates, an antioxidant that may prevent saggy skin as you age. Oh, good. all right. It's like um, it's like Pilates for your glutes. Glass, glad, gla, gla, glute Pilates. Let's get into greens. They're of the most healthy for you, and some of the cheapest. It's a nice leaf. I like to rub leaves in my face. This is uh, collard greens, which is which is way better. All right, and there they have a it's a, a nice swish like a fan. And this is this is how you this is how you seduce your ladies is you fan them nice and nice and softly with a with a leaf. Swiss chard. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, it's good for you. Of all the greens, Swiss chard contains more vitamins and minerals, not kale. Because kale doesn't feel good on your face. They're only leafy. They kind of look like romaine lettuce. And you can like, have them take a walk, you know? You kind of can make them like, do a little dance here. Yeah. Good as like a, kind of look like a rockers, you know? So fancy. You should really just eat like a rabbit. 
Because rabbits, they really actually know what's good for them. I have a bunny rabbit. His name is Pancake, and he's the best bunny rabbit ever. And if you know about Pancake, then you can just know that he's really, really good at everything he does. Now, yeah, and you're thinking, how do I get people to eat these greens? I mean, not everyone's weird like this guy with a pot in his head just chewing on a leaf. Well, I'll tell you. You sneak it in. Sneaky. Bam. Here's some leaves for you. And then I'm like, what? This is healthy? What? And then they love it. We're making leaves happen. Okay. You want more vitamin C than in oranges? Ah. Jalapenos. They are so beautiful. I know, I can just eat them. I mean, they just have, just, just waking you up, alive in you. Um, and the bonus of having more vitamin C than in an orange, really, we all should just be eating more jalapenos. I'd like to sneak in another fact. Buy organic if you can afford it. The pesticide called Roundup contains glyphosates, which may be responsible for the increasing amount of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Hey, how about other vegetables? We got peas. All right, they're cheap or frozen. And then you can use them as ice packs, and uh, it's frozen, so it stays well for a long time. Uh, cancers, uh, Parkinson's disease, and autism. Ooh, we, got some, we got some broccoli here too. I love broccoli. And you also can massage it. It kind of feels nice. It's like uh, kneading dough. I think everyone should eat some broccoli. You should eat some broccoli. It's a good idea. We also have like, oh, squash. It was delicious. Sorry, you don't get to see the whole squash. It's not your lucky day today. Lots of proteins in the seeds kept the early ancestors alive in Central America. If you can afford it, avocado are uh, very primo. Uh, and it's definitely cut in two because I wanted to eat it, but then I was told that I couldn't eat it, and so I was very sad. And don't forget to buy garlic and ginger. All right, the garlic is very good. Avocados, you're able to tell kind of the ripeness from like, it's not just, you know, the squishiness, so you shouldn't be like squishing all the avocados. It's also by how dark it is. Got that nice twist. Ooh, that inside does not look good. Okay, sometimes they'll tell you put like a clove in there, right? And then you're like, oh yeah, I'll definitely put in a clove. You need to put in like a whole bunch. You should basically be putting in all of your garlic. So they're all like little bodies inside of here. They're all like a little family that you just get to like peel away from each other one by one and eat mercilessly. Garlic gets a gold star for preventing illnesses, detoxifying the body, reducing blood pressure, and helping me to live longer. Well, you too. Alrighty, let's go on to fruits and fruit juices. Grapes. Grapes are really good for you. You can just kind of snack on them, leave them in the fridge. And then we got a pineapple. Pineapples are good to buy, you know, during the winter time. Apples and bananas are also generally cheapest in the winter. Well, and then we got oranges too. They're yummy. You can you also get orange juice, and if you get it in a can, it's cheaper and it's better for the environment. And well, you know, you can feel powerful. Like when you pull this thing off, you're like, yeah, I'm a man, bruh. And then we have melons. I like my melons. You, do you like melons? I hope you like melons. Yeah. Yeah, so we got we got a we got a honeydew melon. My my other melon. Uh I think a man, I can't even remember what the name of this melon was. But these melons are very good for you. And honestly, you can just cut them up, leave them in the fridge. You can put like a little kind of dusting of like I don't know, salt or sugar on them, and they can just add a little uh, flavor to it. And, you know, pineapples, they're also a sign of good luck, you know. So you want good luck and good fortune. And so that's that's really what you should do, is get fruits, you know. And it's also, it's sweet, but it's good for you. It's good sugar. You hear that? I just said good sugar. Anyways, that's it. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Goodbye. And don't forget your melons. I just love a man who cooks. <laughs>